What's going on YouTube? Landon Huffman here back with another video. I've got Seth here with me and we are going to put the transmission, drive shaft, and some other things into Frankie, lay my sock. But what I really wanted to accomplish with this video is discuss the brand new grant coming from the North Carolina government towards all of North Carolina's local NASCAR short tracks. Or I don't even think they all have to be NASCAR sanctioned. So that's what we're going to talk about in this. There's brand new renovations coming to Hickory Motor Speedway, Caraway Speedway, Tri-County, all the tracks in our area. So it's pretty exciting, but I'm going to talk a little bit about what needs to happen and what I feel like might happen while we put the transmission into this thing. So thank you guys for being here. Thank you for clicking on this upload and uh, let's get after it. Worst part about the floor in this shop is it's not slidable. It's not slidable, and I'm probably gonna need a new shirt now just from laying on it. Uh, yeah. Well, kind of what I was thinking was we probably should jack the car. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'll probably be easier. We need a fucking zamboni. If anybody watching has a zamboni or knows where to get one. We're in the market, not to buy one or even rent one, but we do take generous donations of time, effort, whatever. Push it. Oh, not a tutorial. Yes, I just want to let you guys know that nothing you watch is a tutorial. It is simply just our method, which usually is not the correct method, but it is efficient at times. Maybe not time efficient, but all right. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back. Yeah, I know, but I can't go back until I get it up. Hold on. Let me just get under this bitch like this. Take the jack out. Huh? While I'm pinned under the race car, one of the things I wanted to talk about is uh, Hickory is receiving a $560,000 grant from the state of North Carolina to renovate the racetrack. Now, here's the issue. I have a feeling that they're gonna spend the money on things that is not necessarily needed, like paving the track. The track does not need to be paved. However, it does need new bathrooms because when I go <laughs> set down to shit, I'm looking eye to eye at Seth, who is also shitting in the stall beside me and it's very uncomfortable. Or the other half of the time you walk in and there's a huge ass donkey dick and turd <laughs> sitting in there, stop the toilet up. Or, or so you either shit in the trough, piss in the trough, or just leave. <laughs> so there's a lot of things that need to happen at Hickory before the track's paved, including fixing the falling down suites and making sure that our local pedestrian doesn't fall through the turn three and four grandstand. Tracks that are getting support, and apparently the grant from the state goes to the county or city which is then distributed to the tracks. Caldwell County in North Carolina is Tri-County Speedway. City of Concord, Charlotte Motor Speedway gets $13 million. Why Charlotte Motor Speedway needs $13 million, don't ask me. City of Hickory, Hickory Motor Speedway, $568,000. City of Winston-Salem, Bowman Gray Stadium, $530,000. Davie County has a drag strip, they get $500,000. Johnson County, some motorsports park I've never heard of, $583,000. Coastal Plains Dragway, Orange County Speedway, Dixieland Speedway, Caraway Speedway, Rockingham Dragway, Rockingham Speedway, which got $9 million. Wake County Speedway, Outer Banks Speedway, I've never heard of that in my life. North Wilkesboro, $18 million. Southern National Motorsports Park, $550,000. And County Line Raceway, $196,000. So, all of these tracks are going to receive this money. Now, it says... Grants from the Motorsports Relief Fund awarded to local governments for the benefit of the specific race venues in their community will enhance visitor exper experience and include upgrades to grandstands, pedestrian walkways, bathrooms, and a variety of other facility needs. Whether that happens or not, I have no idea. Now, historically, at Hickory, we have not, we, well, historically speaking, we haven't made a renovation in about 45 years. Um, I think the track was repaved in the late 90s, so... There's a lot that can be done. Now, Hickory's in a weird situation because the track promoter does not own the track. So he does not have money to put into the track and the track owner 
is doing nothing but merely leasing the land or the track to the promoter so the promoter can run it. So it's a weird situation. This money will help. I just really hope that they don't pave the track because if they do pave it, the racing is going to suck and all, we're going to spend all the money on paving it and no money on making the actual um, pedestrian amenities better. This is honestly going to determine the future of the racetrack. I feel like if they invest it correctly, Hickory's there for another 50 years. If they don't, it might not make it for another 10. So in my opinion, what really needs to happen, and I'll take this for what it's worth because I don't know if it will, but um, obviously when I was under the car, I was being somewhat sarcastic, but I wasn't. There really needs to be renovations to the bathrooms, like severe renovations to the bathrooms. There needs to be severe renovations to um, like the suite and the grandstands area. Like the suites, I don't even know how you could even sell that to a sponsor because it still has box TVs in them. So not only do they have box TVs in them, but the floors are falling down and it's like the press box infrastructure needs to be painted, uh, new wood paneling. Like there's just a lot of stuff that needs to be done. The infield could be paved because Completely. Yeah, com completely paved. I mean, all of the pavement is like chunking up and then there's grass and mud. It's just ridiculous. So if the entire infield was paved, it would make life a lot easier on the racer too. Naturally, I know that each track is going to have a different scenario. I mean, Hickory by itself is going to be a different predicament than other tracks. But at least for the most part, I feel like a lot of the tracks in our area are fighting the same issues. And that's structural integrity you know, and just being outdated in general. By the way, Frankie is uh, almost back together. So we'll be racing twin 40s at Hickory Motor Speedway this Saturday night. Obviously, we'll have a race day vlog per normal. Take you guys with us. It's going to be a good time. Current points leader and uh, second in overall Advanced Auto Parts Weekly Series state standing. So hopefully after this weekend, we'll be leading state as well. But we need a good run. We need not to tear anything up, get through the weekend uh, with her looking like she does right now. So nice of you to join us, RJ. Hey, some of them, I'm a working man. So in this video, I didn't put a whole lot of us working. Well, However, a lot of work. yeah, that too. But uh, <laughs> this video was basically talking about the renovations that are potentially going to happen at all North Carolina tracks. Okay. And then from my understanding, there's multiple owners. From my understanding, it's kind of split up into lots and there's different people who own different lots of the property. So I don't know how that's split up. I don't know the full story, so I can't really form an opinion on that. But um, like I mentioned earlier today, I think this will be a, a very important point in Hickory's life in order to see, I think this will tell us if, we're, if it's going to stay around for another 60 something years like it has yep. now. That's what I said earlier in the right. video. And you know, um, you know, however, this money is half a million dollars. I mean, that's a that's a nice chunk of money that Hickory can really use. And I mean, if they, if it's used appropriately and invested wisely, then it, it will cement the future of Hickory. Is that a Green Lantern shirt? It is. Do you like Green Lantern? Um, no, I, I don't think I ever watched the movie. <laughs> That's why I'm wearing it in the shop. Update on the transmission. Um, I do have it in. You can't see it, but it's in. And I had to take the shifter off. So there is, you know, alert. Me and Seth are total idiots. Jason and Kevin are here. And uh, Jason informed me that I do indeed have to take the shifter off. So it made me feel a little better about myself because I spent 45 minutes trying to fit that son of a bitch in there. And it would not go. He played me. Uh, it, yeah, it's Kevin's fault. Kevin told me I could fit it in there, but see, Jason, words of wisdom, come in and said, not the case. You gotta do it this way. Well, you can, uh, to his defense, you can in other cars, so. Yeah, we're, we're not yet universal from yeah, firewall. Cars every week. Yeah, switching cars and motors. <laughs> All right, guys, I forgot to do an ending to the video yesterday. We were so caught up in working on the car, but I do appreciate you guys uh, watching today's video. We do have twin 40s at Hickory Motor Speedway this weekend, and uh, Frankie should be ready. So I'm pretty excited for that. Going to go try to get us two more wins and uh, extend our win number to four this year. So looking forward to it. Hopefully we'll come out of this weekend with the uh, state points lead and remain as the Hickory Motor Speedway points leader. But uh, never know. We shall see. So thank you guys for watching. Let's hope and pray that all of the improvements 
going to these local tracks are spent accordingly. I have faith in the Hickory Motor Speedway um, management that they will do that. And uh, hopefully everything's just done for the betterment of the track. And, and you know, these tracks are around for a very long time. So thanks again, guys. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.